blood of God, the blood of Jesus at this time, oh God, to sanctify us, oh God, to purify us, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we need the blood of Jesus, oh God. We need the blood, the blood that washes, oh God, the blood that sanctifies, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, sanctify this place, oh God, sanctify us, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We need the blood, we need the blood of Jesus, 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 to sanctify us, oh God, to wash us clean. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Rana Bella, when I put your parallel, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It is the blood of Jesus Christ alone that can sanctify us. It is the blood of Jesus Christ alone that can wash away every sin that we have. It is the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed at the cross that brought salvation to each and every one of us. We need the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus upon every area of our lives. The blood of Jesus in every situation that we face. That is why I'm saying today the blood of Jesus Christ in upon each and every one of us um, in upon this place um, the blood of Jesus um, must come and wash us um, to come and purify uh, to come and cleanse us of all sin we want the Lord to speak to us today we want him to speak to each and every one of us today. We want him to minister to us today. So when we read 1 Corinthians 2 from verse 9 to 12, it says, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of men the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God, for what man knows the things of man except the spirit of the man um, which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Um, now we have received uh, not the spirit of the world, um, but the spirit um, who is from God, um, that we might know the things that have been freely given unto us uh, by God himself. Amen. You know, the Holy Spirit, when he comes, when he comes into a place or when he comes into a person, he comes and does changes. When he comes into a situation, he reveals. You know, it says that when he comes, he's the only one that knows the spirit of God. He's the only one that can enter into men and make a difference. So I want us today to, to, to speak to the Holy Spirit. We need him to come and give us revelation. You know, when the Holy Spirit searches, he searches and looks for revelation that is pertaining to each and every one of us. So when he finds it, a mere man like you and me receive things that we never thought we would receive. He speaks them. He gives them. He gives that which we need to do. He is the spirit of God. When we read in John 16, 13, it says, however, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into the truth for he will speak for he, he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you the things to come. So whatever he hears, he hears from where? From the Lord himself, pertaining who? Pertaining your life. So the opportunity is now. The opportunity is today. He wants to speak to each and every one of us today. He is here to give you that which you need to know. He is coming to reveal the truth at a certain time. A measure that is given unto you for today. Now I want you to speak to the spirit of God. The spirit of truth. Today it is here to give you the measure. You know also it is here to guide. The word said he will guide you into all truth. You know the same way as the lie can kill and destroy a person. The truth that is premature can do the same. So the truth that you are supposed to receive today is the measure that is according to what the Lord has said for each and every one of you. So I want you to speak to the father today. You need that measure. 
That measure that is here for you today, do not be distracted by anything. Now is the time for the Holy Spirit to give according to what he has planned for you today. He's going to reveal to you. He's going to give you the truth according to the measure that is supposed to come to you. The truth can destroy you. The premature truth can destroy you. But today, the Lord will give you the truth that you are supposed to receive at this time. Today is the third day of our fasting. He's going to reveal to you things um, that you never thought you would ever see. Pertaining to your life, um, pertaining to your marriage, uh, pertaining to your children, uh, pertaining to your job. Uh, he is here today uh, to give you according to your measure. I want you to focus today. Uh, do not miss the measure that is in store for you today. Uh. Yes. Nothing should prevent you from receiving uh, the measure of the Holy Spirit. Um, the truth that he is bringing uh, today. Uh. I want you to pray and say, reveal, reveal, oh Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm availing my heart. I do not want anything to prevent me from receiving the measure that you have sent for me today. I want to receive, reveal us all, reveal us all today. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, right now, that reveal us, oh God, we have opened our hearts, oh Father, to receive the measure, oh God, according to what you have said for us today, my God. Holy Spirit, search, oh Father, search for the truth that is pertaining to our lives. Search for the truth, oh Father, that is pertaining to our families, oh God. Search for the truth, oh God, that is pertaining to our marriages, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little of God. We are refusing to go home, oh Father, without the truth, without the revelation oh God, um, that you have sent for each and every one of us, my Father, my God. Um, we are refusing for all the hindrances, oh God, um, that has been set before us um, to make us, oh Father, not to hear from the my Father, my God. Um, we need to hear from you, Lord. Um, we need to receive the measure, Lord, um, according to what you have said for us, my Father. Um, we need to receive the measure, Lord, um, according to the way you have said for each and every one of us, pertaining to our marriage, oh God, um, pertaining to every area of our lives, oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are refusing to miss any of them, oh God. We are refusing to miss, oh God, that you should have in store for us, oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the We need to live what I see like a chip my father, my God. We need to have Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We need to when I cross the parallel. When I say this, I'm a true one. I got in a good soul. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, when I put a hat on the motor, my father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Rabella Mutimaka, give us according to the measure, Lord, that is set for us today, oh Father, give us according to the measure, my Father, that you have set for each and every one of us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Rabella, when I put a hat on the motor, when I got seven in the my father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we need you, oh Father, we need you, oh God, my father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, 
life, Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, Ulele, my Father, my God. Listen, Ulele, when I cross your Kalalelo. Listen, Ulele, my God. Reveal it, oh God. Reveal it, oh Father. Reveal it, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reveal it, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, listen, Ulele, to Otra, when I would be Munta. In the name of Jesus Christ, Rana Bella when I'm with you, Wakam, Rana when I had in Tanto Tamutim Wakam, reveal us all, O God, reveal them all, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Rana Bella when I'm with you, Wakam, Rutoka when I'm going to go to Honalena Kosia Kalalelo, in Jesus' mighty name, Rana Bella when I'm with you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, um, reveal them all, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, um, reveal it all, oh God, um, reveal it all, Father, the measure, Lord, um, that you have set for us, oh God, um, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, um, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We serve a faithful God. We serve a faithful God. He set the time like this. He has set the opportunity like this. You know, when we are doing things differently, Muruti was saying, for us to get, to get results, different results, we need to do things differently. Hence, we are where we are today. But I want us to read. Daniel 3, verse 16 to 18, the scripture that we read yesterday. I'm intrigued by the answer that the, the three men gave to the king. It says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God who we, we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fairy furnace and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your God, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. You know, the, 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 the answer they are giving is the answer that shows a person with a relationship. It is the answer that you, are, you know, you know, and you know. This person I know, they have the track record that shows that this God that they are saving is the God that will deliver. They know that this God that we are saving, nothing is impossible for him. You know, for, for, for them to disobey like that, they continued even when they were told that they need to obey to this God. They, they continue to pray. You know why they continue to pray? Because they know the kind of relationship that, we, that they have. And when you have a relationship like that with your God, nothing can stand in your way. It means they had encounters. Not just one encounter. But many a times, uh, the Lord has showed them uh, that he can deliver them. The Lord has showed them uh, the faithful, his faithfulness, uh, his goodness upon their lives. So it was easy for them uh, to can say no. The God that we know, we have his track record. 
We know the things he can do. I do not know about yours, but mine. I know the track record. He has taken me from where up to where. He has been faithful. No one can understand what he has done in my life. No one can explain the things that he has done in my life. No one can comprehend the things that he has done in my life. So because of the track record that I have of this God that I serve, I will not buy to your golden image. When we look at... When you look at Psalm 23 verse 4, David here was saying, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Hear what he says, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This is a man whose flesh had died. He knew and he knew the kind of God that he was saving. And when you know you are liberated, you know knowledge liberates you. Knowledge gives answers. Knowledge removes uncertainty. Knowledge removes fear. So they knew their God. Even David knew his God. That is why he can stand boldly and say, I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But I know your rod and your staff, they will comfort me. This is the kind of God that we are serving. This is the father that I am saving. I have a track record. I don't know about you. I have a track record that says this God is alive. That says this God can heal. That says this God can deliver. He's waiting for you today. He's waiting for you today. You know there are certain things that are happening around us. And the devil does it deliberately. He wants just for you to, he, he has programmed your mind uh, with negativity. He has programmed our mind uh, to look at the Bible like we are reading stories. But it ends today uh, because we know the track record uh, of the God that we are saving. You know when you listen to negativity all the time, when you listen to negativity all the time, there is no way that you can escape it. You will end up being negative. When you listen to disbelief, there is no way that you can escape it. You will end up being in disbelief. But these people, they were feeding themselves with the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing what? The word of God. So that which you are listening to will occupy your mind. That which you are listening to will become your God. We need to deprogram our minds. And for us to deprogram our minds, we need a fresh database. You know, when you, when, when you are reprogramming your mind, when you are saying faith, when you are speaking the word of God, you are speaking of the track record of the God that you are serving. I want us to stand today. I want us to deprogram our minds. I want us to deprogram our minds. Look back. The devil will try and make you forget that which the Lord has done for you. And make it look like you were deserving of it. You did not deserve of it. But it is because of his mercy. It is because of his grace upon your life. I want us to deprogram our minds. Stand up and deprogram your mind. For faith comes by hearing. You heard a lot, a lot of negativity. You cluttered your mind with a lot of negativity. But the Lord is here to deprogram your mind. Renew your mind. Renew your mind today. I want us to stand and renew our mind. Renew your mind. Refresh on your mind. The Lord is here today. The word of God is here today. To renew and refresh your mind. Mind. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. All the negativity, my God, that has programmed my mind, all the culture, my Father, that has programmed my mind to believe that, oh God, there is no faith, oh Father. We are deprogramming our minds, oh God. We are deprogramming our minds, my Father. We are renewing, oh God, our minds and focusing and focusing on Jesus Himself. We are focusing on the Father Himself. Somebody did step my father to deprogram our minds, oh God. My father, my God. We are deprogramming our minds, Lord. We are removing them from our lives, oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are replacing, oh God, the old database, oh God, with a new one, oh Father. That is given by you. That is given by you, 
oh God, that is given by your word, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that is given by your word, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are deprogramming our minds, Lord, we are deprogramming our minds, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We need our minds, oh God, to be renewed, oh God, to be deprogrammed, oh Father, of the things of the world, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We need our minds, oh Father, to be deprogrammed, oh God, of the things of the world, oh God, of the lies of the world, oh God, of the, world, oh God, world, oh God, of the negativity of the world, my Father, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that I when I would work up, that I did program our minds, Lord, the program our minds of Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the program our minds of Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that I fell when I was here, Hallelujah, but never got your own father, that I know when I was here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are deprogramming our minds, oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are deprogramming our minds, oh Father. of the darkness, oh God, everything of the world, oh God, we are removing it from our lives in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, for Jesus. May we clap our hands for Jesus. May we clap our hands for Jesus. You know the faith that the three men had, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, it is the faith that no ordinary man can explain. You know why they cannot explain it? Because faith on its own is an encounter with the word of God. When you encounter the word of God, I get a faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So when you encounter with, with the word of God, the word dwelleth in you. When you come across any problem, you need an anchor. You know an anchor, that thing that you throw in the sea and it makes the ship to be steady. Nothing will shake you when the anchor of the word of God is in you. You know, when we read, when we read Psalm 119 verse 130, it says, um, the entrance of your word gives light, um, it gives understanding uh, to the simple. 
it means uh, when that word enters in you, uh, the things around you should change uh, because of the kind of faith that you display. Uh, people must see the light that is in you uh, because the word uh, will be in you. I want us to exercise the word. I want us to exercise the faith. Um, for when you exercise faith, um, you are tapping into the integrity of God. Um, because um, faith comes by hearing, um, hearing the word of God. Uh, so when the word of God is in you uh, and you are releasing the word of God, uh, you are standing on the anchor, which is his word. Uh, he is bound to move. Um, he is bound to come to your situation. I want our faith levels to grow. I want our faith levels um, to be taken to another level. Um, I want our faith level at this time um, to move to another level. But you know, faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. You know, there are some instances um, where you will say uh, in Jesus' name, but you are looking at the opponent and you are ready to run. That is not faith. You are looking at the opponent like I'm about to run. In Jesus' name. You are pointing at the, the thing like, you know, in Jesus' name. As soon as he tries to bite or your enemy charges after you, you are ready to run. That is not faith. That is not faith at all. But the faith um, comes by hearing, I'm going to say it again, um, hearing the word of God. So when you chew, uh, I'm not saying read, uh, chew upon the word of God. Uh, when it anchors in you, uh, you are able to release it uh, and the devil should run. Because of what you are having in you, uh, which is the word of God. I want our faith levels to be taken uh, to another level. But we need to take action. The Lord will not move on your behalf. He has sent the doer, which is the Holy Spirit. All you have to do is to tap into the word of God. You have to tap into his integrity. Quote his word. Speak it. Meditate upon it. So when you say it, it has meaning. It has value. It has weight. For the devil is looking at us like, oh, Shem. She's going to jail in Jesus' name and she sleeps. That is when he attacks because the anchor is not there. When you throw the anchor in the sea, the boat does not move. It remains stable until you remove that anchor. We need our faith level to grow. I want us all to stand and say, Father, work on my, work on my faith. Work on my faith. Help me to work on my faith. Enlarge my faith. Enlarge my faith. I want to be able to speak your word and speak it from the anchor, which is your word. From the anchor, which is your presence in me. I want us all to stand. Let us stand and speak to the Father today. We need our faith to be enlarged today. We need our faith to be enlarged today in the name of Jesus. Father, my father, my God, when I'm with you, I'm a father, my 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 Enlarge our faith, O oh God. Enlarge our faith, when I'm to work. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Enlarge our faith, O oh God. Enlarge our faith, O oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, work on our faith levels, O oh God. We need to take action, O oh Father. We need to act upon your word, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that I know when I cross your Kalalelom, Yasana Mohar Humas Hill or Ramutimaka, Yasana Yoke Sang Mutimaka, Dumelo Aruna when I cross your Kalalelom, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that I'm with one of the way, the Lord, I know when I can away to Halena Mutimaka, Yasana Kahar.
Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah say to your neighbor today is my day today is my day you are not here by mistake oh I can see a Daniel shining tonight I can see a Meshach and a bad Nego who is shining tonight I thank the Holy Spirit I like this example of mama to me he say when you put the board just because I forgot that word he use he say when you put what anchor hallelujah I love it it means it is a faith that is unshakable it is a faith that will give you the boldness to talk to the king and tonight there is a person for you in Jesus name and the way you are saying amen I can see the heaven is open for you I say I can see the heaven the heaven is open for you in Jesus name oh what a wonderful God hallelujah oh we are still in the fasting of Daniel what a great of fasting where your body is telling you otherwise but your spirit is saying I will carry on wow I like I like it the body is, is claiming the body is crying where is my meat where is my zero cock but your spirit is saying I'm not even there my spirit is there it's sitting on the counseling of the elders for me to receive so that I can bring a great exploit hallelujah oh we really thank God before us continue to pray I would like us to read again we are still in on our topic I would like us to read in Daniel Daniel 11 verse I would like us to start by verse 31 hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus can Mama Charity read in the New King James Version Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mama Charity, may you read for the glory of the Lord. New King James Version. Daniel 11, let's start by verse 31. And arms shall stand on his part, mm -hmm. and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, mm -hmm. and they shall place the abomination that make desolate. The Bible said they will take away the daily sacrifice, and they place the abomination of desolation. Can you continue? Verse 32, which is our main scripture. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know they are God shall be strong and do exploits. In my version, they say, then they will carry out great exploit. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the people who know their God, us, you and I, who we know our God, will carry a great exploit outside there. You know why the Bible was saying this? This is the reason why I want, I would like us first, we start by verse 31. If we just check the background there, the Bible said the sanctuary will be defied. The sanctuary can be the, represented today as a body of Christ. You see what is happening in the body of Christ these days. Many things are happening. And then the second one, they say, the daily sacrifice is stopped. The daily sacrifice, I'm talking about chapter 31. The daily sacrifice is stopped. It means the relationship with our, our God has been stopped. The intimacy with the Lord 
has been stopped. That fellowship with God. What is happening to these days? When all the churches is closed, even us believers, we are even encouraging that, yes, if we go to church, we'll go and get corona. People of God. This is, this is the reason why they were saying in, in chapter 2, those who will know their God. This is not the time to shut down the house of the Lord. This is not the time you are relaxing in your house and saying, what can I do? We are in the difficult times. There is no way I can do. People of God, you can't carry a great exploit by, say, by staying in your house. These days, there is many seduction that is happening. Seduction is around everywhere. And when they say the church are opening, last time I was saying to my mom, like they say, we'll go only 50 people. We need to wake up early because we'll be fighting at the door to enter. Oh, I was very surprised. People are still relaxing. The same people are saying, if we go to church, we'll get corona. But we are meeting in okay, buying the same food. Oh, I wonder okay is safe. People of God, let us open our eyes. It's not about, about us. It's about the people who will know their God. This is it's a difficult time. But you must have your relationship with the Lord. That is very firm. Because if like this minute, the Lord decided to come, it's not about the church act of the glory of the Lord. It will be about your relationship with the Lord. Because when Daniel was saying, he was not talking about all of us. He was saying, those who know they are God, they will do exploit. They will carry a great exploit. Those encourage those things. Don't encourage it. No, Mam Ruth, you're exaggerating. Corona is at the church. How many people get corona out of the church? You will answer it in yourself, in your heart. People of God, this time is a difficult time. But God has prepared for us the power to carry out the great exploits and wonders. To the people that they will be firm to him, you will carry great wonders outside there. Corona... He can't stop the end of the Lord to do miracle in your life. Corona can't make what, what is it? What, what can I call it again? Uh, lockdown in heaven. Because I have seen since January people are coming with nice cars, new cars. People are buying houses. I never see the maternity closed. It means people are bringing big babies there. People are getting promotion. So it means those who will know their God, they will do wonders in these difficult times. And those people is you and I. People of God, we must be careful of what is happening. And let me tell you, to carry a great exploit, it needs the faith of God. We need the faith. Hallelujah. And to carry exploits, need a sacrifice and a prayer. Like what as we are doing now. The prayer and sacrifice. The faith to carry exploits depends on the quality and the amount of revelation that you receive from God. Oh, I hope you listen to me. I say this. The faith to carry great exploits depends on the quality and the amount of the revelation that you are receiving from God. It needs a sacrifice and a prayer because you can't get 
When he was talking, those who know their God, it's not the way you know my name. The one who knows me better is God. You, you just know I'm Mama Bea. You just know like he will come here in the morning and pray. But about the relationship between me and God, you don't know. This is the reason why when people are dying, we can say what we can see outside. But the problem that Daniel was saying, it's a deep inside. Those who know they are God, they will get the great exploit outside. This is what Daniel was saying. It's not about the physical. You know, when you take a dustbin, especially those are silver dustbin, they are clean outside. But when you open it, inside is a matata. Yes. So those are the things that Daniel was saying. And that tonight, Mama to me was talking about the faith. That's why I want also to go in that level of faith. And the Papa Senfo was saying yesterday, the faith is the shield. Hallelujah. What a great revelation. He even explained to us uh, through the hospital so that we can, we can understand what is a shield. So I cover here for that patient to don't see what, what is happening here. Hallelujah. I will talk about maybe one, two, three, four, fifth. I want you to know the, the meaning between, I will, I will start by the first faith. Is the saving faith. There is the measure of faith, the breakthrough faith, and the gift of faith. Hallelujah. The saving faith is the faith allow you to have access to salvation. This is the saving faith. You will read it in Ephesians 2 verse 8 because of time. You will read it at your place. By grace we have been saved through faith. Hallelujah. This is the meaning of the saving faith. About the measure of faith. The measure of faith is the faith that every believer receives to walk with the Lord, trusting him and his promises. This of faith grow through the word of God and the challenges. This is what Mama to me was uh, saying. Faith is coming by hearing. And hearing what? The word of God. And when we are hearing the word of God, you are hearing to the Lord himself. Because the Bible says, at the beginning was the word. And the word was God. So by hearing to the, 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 word, of, the, 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 the word of God, it means like you are hearing to the Lord himself. Hallelujah. This is the measure of faith. Now, I will talk about the gift of faith. Hallelujah. You know, the breakthrough faith, I will keep it for another day. But today, I want first to talk about the gift of faith. The gift of faith, it is a special gift. I like it. This is the gift the Spirit himself provides to the children of God with an extraordinary confidence in God's promises. This is the faith that gives you power and the presence to carry exploits, to display the strong and unshakable confidence. Hallelujah. This is the gift of faith that the Lord himself provides for you. This is the reason why you could see those three men. They were saying to the king, we don't need to, we, we don't, we don't need to answer you. Why? Because that gift was given already to them. So they were having that gift that is unshakable. That gift that is giving them that, what can I say it? The word is going. I don't know that a proud or what that 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 confident to talk to the king or that boldness to talk to the king. Lack like we don't know, we don't know even how to answer. And if Nif, our God does not deliver us, we won't bow down to you. 
Why? Because they were working in the gift of faith. And that gift of faith, it comes by hearing. They hear the word of God. That is saying, you must not bow down to them. No worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, who will not tolerate your affection to other God. They hear to that word. That's why they didn't bow down to the king. And every word that they were saying, it, it's written in the Bible. So this is the reason why you need to be loaded with the word of God. For you to carry exploits outside there. For the, uh, the, the pit of the, the lion. When Daniel was there, Daniel didn't say, I'm sorry. I want to pray again. Don't throw me here. No. He was going with confidence. Walking. And I'm sure, you know, when they, those people, they were bringing him. Do you know like Daniel became like a president? Because those guys, they were behind him. Following him. If they were in front, it means they were showing him the way. He became like a king. So that of faith, it will give you that of value. That of faith, it will give you the value to carry exploit. This is the reason why when he was working, he didn't fear anything. He knows like, when I will go, that of faith, the word of God will change the shape and I will have the same nature like the lion. This is what Mama Minas was telling us yesterday. This is the reason why we need that uh, gift of faith. Hallelujah. We need the gift of faith. We'll, we'll carry great exploit. Hallelujah. This of faith allows you to see opportunities. Hallelujah. Because after throwing them, the opportunities come. They say they promote them. Because of that of faith, that is unshakable. So we need uh, the faith that is unshakable. We don't need that of faith that is moving like the Rosso. Thank you, you understand it. <laughs> we don't need that of faith. You know, they say this of faith, the gift of faith, allow you to see opportunities where people see obstacle. This is the reason why I say you last time, like, when others see a big Goliath who cannot be defeated, you will see a big Goliath who is impossible to miss as a target. Hallelujah. This is the power of the gift of faith. Where people are struggling, but you, you see an opportunity for you. Like, after this, I will go to the next step. We need this gift, hallelujah. This of faith is to see always a possibility when things are impossible. When everyone is saying, this is a giant, is coming every day to insult us. But you will see how you will get a musadi. You, you will see how your family won't pay the tax. Oh, hallelujah. This is a gift of faith. And this gift of faith is himself who is releasing it upon us. And this is what will happen tonight. Hallelujah. Where you will stand. You will stand of firm. You will talk. Hallelujah. Why? Because we are hearing the word of God. Mama Minas was saying, you need to make a statement. But that statement must be based on the word of God. Why? Because the only things that the devil can run away for is the word of God. The Bible says the Holy Spirit bring Jesus to be tempted. I'm talking about Matthew 4. You'll read verse 1 and down there. They said the Holy Spirit bring him. So when he was there, when the devil was coming, what was happening? The Lord Jesus was releasing the word of God. The Bible said, the, the Holy Spirit, the, the Jesus said, it's written. Like you can't thank your God. And I was saying, so it means the Jesus was in the word. I check it, the Bible, I find it. All the three answers that Jesus answered to the, the, the Satan, 
it's written in the Bible. I can even give you the verse because I put those verses somewhere. The first answer is in the is in the book of uh, Deuteronomy. And Mama Minas always he said I like Deuteronomy too much. It's in Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. You will find the answer there. Where is saying about the word of God? People of God, let your statement be based on the word of God so that you'll carry the great exploit. When they were saying, we won't bow down to you, they were not taking copy and paste. They were referring to the word of God. They were talking about the Bible. They were not talking about the example outside. They were talking about the Bible. This is the reason why. The woman, go, the woman of God yesterday, she was a saying, declare the word of God. Let your statement be based on the word of God. You can't carry great exploits when you are not, when, when you are, how, 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 how it will come? Which magic you will do for the devil to hear you? Never. He won't. And let me tell you, it is a faith that is breaking limitations. The gift of faith. They were there in the fire. And remember, the women of God, they say, when they throw them in the fire, they were four men. Why? Because now, the gift of faith that was in them produced the fourth man, which is the word of God. Hallelujah. So it means when you are having the faith of God, because you hear the word of God, any obstacle, it will produce water to fight that obstacle. This is the reason why. When they were there, the faith that was inside of them produced the consuming of fire. Because the Bible says, understand to lay today like I'm the consuming fire who will walk in front of you. Hallelujah. You will read it in Deuteronomy 3, Deuteronomy 9 verse 3. So it means the faith that you are carrying everywhere you will go, if you find the sickness, it will produce the healer because this is how you will great exploit outside there. When there is sickness, the lion can't appear. Is the healer who will appear. So this is a gift of faith. It will start changing the shape according to what you are going through. If it's in front of Corona, it will settle down Corona. If it's in front... Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see the way the heaven is open. Oh, hallelujah. This is what the pastor was saying. is a shield. So that a shield, it can't be always blue. When you go to the maternity, you'll find, you'll find the blue, you'll find the pink. So it means it's changing. When you go to the ladies, you'll find the blue. When you go to the men, you'll find the, the ladies pink, the men it's blue. So it means it will change according to what you want to experiment, to experiment that time. Oh, hallelujah. This is the gift of faith that will bring promotion because the woman of God yesterday was saying after that they've been promoted you know what Daniel never applied anyway because of that the gift of faith Job was following him if you read in chapter 5 the Bible said the king said if you do one two three this is and this it will follow you he said king keep to your gift to us someone else this man was arrogant, eh? Hey, Batu. It's like, I don't need it. What I'm carrying, it will bring exploits outside there. What I'm carrying, it's like a torch. Where is attractive insect? They are coming to you. Hallelujah. By having the gift of faith, hallelujah, you will know the right hand of your father. Oh, many, many take care before to, to write it, you must know who was writing, was writing this. It's the gift of faith. This is the reason why. Today is the third day. We need uh, the that uh, gift of faith so that you can carry exploit outside there. Let the people say, and uh, these people, they were in 21 fasting prayer. 
and we can see things are changing. Hallelujah. Oh, I love the Lord Jesus too much. Oh, hallelujah. You know, I lack. Mama, can you read 1 Corinthians verse 14? Hallelujah. We need to desire the gift of faith. The gift of faith comes by, by the word of God. By hearing, you need to be loaded in the word of God. This is not the generation who people are praying according to what you hear outside there. No. Mama, may you read just the first sentence. First one. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Yes. New King James Version. Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts. Oh, hallelujah. We can stop there. Pursue love and your desire. Desire. Hallelujah. You know, say, desire earnestly the spiritual gift. You need it tonight. By having that a spiritual gift. You know what I'm talking. I'm not saying the spiritual gift that will give you a car. And when a car is got a, a damage, you forgot about that miracle. I'm not talking about that a faith. I'm talking about the faith that will start to produce and produce and reproduce. This is the faith that I'm talking about. Because if you go outside here with a miracle, outside there you'll forget it. Because most of the time when you receive a miracle, you think like it's normal. I'm supposed to be healed. Akira was in the presence of God. But if you are carrying the gift of a faith outside there, it will start to produce. In chapter 2, it will give the deep, the deep secret. In chapter 3, oh, the fourth man will appear. In chapter 4, I will be able to explain the king the dream. In chapter 5, I will be able to read many, many tekele. This is the faith that you need. You don't need first the faith where you just eat maguinya and then say, God, you are worship. You know. Carry something that is not heavy. That will start to produce and reproduce. We need that faith. We need it in these 10 days of prayer. People of God. Because what you'll carry in these 10 days of prayer. Remember, the Bible say, after three years, actually Daniel and this man, they were in there for three good years. And they just said to that chief, just for 10 days only, test us. For 10 days. The sacrifice of 10 days. This is the reason why you can read Daniel until 12. Do you understand that? Because of this time, let's read Daniel 12, verse 1. Oh, hallelujah. You know, Daniel, when he was, he was saying, those who know they are God, he was not just saying it by mistake. Because the times where Daniel were going through, it was a difficult time. So don't stay at your place and saying you are going through a lot. That's why I don't want to go to church. You are delaying your blessing yourself. Let's read it. At that time, Michael shall stand up. Mm -hmm. The great prince who stands watch over the sons of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble. Uh -huh. Such as never was since there was a nation. Mm -hmm. Even to that time, and at that time, your people shall be delivered. They say there will be trouble. So it will be the time that you never see. Who could believe today like the whole world will start wearing a mask? Who could believe that? So this is the reason why Daniel was saying, those who will know their God. Because difficult times will be there. People of God, it doesn't mean like because there is corona, you stay at your place, closing your hand like, I don't want to pray anymore. No, pray, pray, seek the Lord. Great exploits will come. This is what you are saying. We never know like these things will happen. 
who could who could believe today like with the president of the the higher country there he can also wear the mask who could believe that today they are setting down the daily sacrifice we are sitting at the house we are even enjoying like ah, they open the church i'm not used to it instead of us crying like father why they are closing this is the place of our refuge this is the place where we can cry where we can talk we are even happy saying no when you go there don't even go don't even go no people of god stand up pray ask the lord to release that a gift of faith you will see how many people here in the ark of the glory of the lord how many people are packing new cars outside there it means the lord is still alive your redeemer lives again what do you need is to carry a great exploit this is what you need you need to that the gift of faith tonight so that everywhere you will go people they will know like you are saving the living god daniel work with the occult people they are giving you possession you are running away no those people are using muti forgetting that muti is the lord who created it those who will know their god don't run away stand up firm in the word of god stand up firm setting tell the lord don't know god by his name el sadai yahweh shilo kajomona what what i can say it even in my mother language no no god deeply no god deeply so that when obstacle is coming it will come like an opportunity for you the bible said the spirit bring jesus to be tempted how many times the lord have done it that in your life and you are crying like you have forsaken me it's because we don't have the argument to give to the devil we don't have the way to 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 shake him to run away from us that's why we are crying the bible say elijah was a man like us but he stopped the rain why not you and me we can't stop corona we start the complaining and let me tell you the way the devil is planning things this is just a beginning so that's why you must be prepared i'm not bringing fear to you i'm telling you to be prepared so everything that will come you will carry exploit outside you will carry exploit in your life not to bring a fear fear is the destiny killer i can say it again this is the time where you must sit in the word of god so that when the temptation it will come you know how to answer everything that you you are going through there are people that went through in the bible read their stories there are people money david also was, 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 was there is a time we need that money oh and anna also went through that so why are you complaining when they even give you the privilege to read the bible these days they even give you that privilege that you can download your bible yourself in your phone which is not good i'm not encouraging you to do that by the bible you understand so you need to stay in the word of god there is no difficult problem that a jesus can't save nothing the problem you don't know who you are that is the big problem that we are facing these days jesus could stand and face the devil you can't tempt the lord people of god how like us to desire it when you read the bible they say pure love and a desire earnestly the spiritual gift we need the faith that is unshakable so that do you know to talk to the king in that manner you must know where you are standing to say to the king like you know we don't know it even how to answer you it's very difficult do you know that it it, it can cause death because before even you before even to refuse to bow down by the answer already the king was furious by the answer already but uh, today when your 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 boss is saying before you get this promotion we must do one two three you start uh, thinking no tell him straight 
No. If you refuse to promote me, the one who gives you that post, he will promote me. Yes. I like the answer that Papa said for answer once here to someone. They say, you fail your exam. There is no way you can write the letter to them for them to answer you. Papa Sefo told them like, I will, I will write the letter because of the, the one who put them in that position is the one who will answer me. And it, it never happened here. You can ask at the HBC. H, 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 HBC. It never happened. You, 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 did, you failed the exam and then you, you bring the paper that gives you the good result. Never. It's because he knew where he was standing. He knew the God that he was serving. Say, my God, first the devil didn't give me the good marks. Because what I wrote, you are the one who wrote it for me. So how come this answer is coming? Let me write now back to you. I love that violent of faith. People of God, stand in a faith. Oh, where you are, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. I want you to desire this gift of faith. I'm not talking about you having a car. I'm not talking about you buying a house. The gift that is upon you is the one who will produce everything that you want. Because every challenge that Shadrach, Meshach, they were getting their lives, after that challenge, they were getting a promotion. Hallelujah. Oh, can you start up praying and say, Father, I desire this great gift. Can you start up praying and say to the Lord, like you need the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Because for Daniel to know, like they're supposed to stay for 70 years, it was a reading. It's a true revelation where Daniel could discover, like they must go out. He received the revelation for him to go and deliver the people of Israel. You need the intimacy with the Lord. For the Lord to restore the gift of faith. This is the death of time. So the Lord will resurrect again that gift in you. Because it's the gift that the Lord is giving to you himself. Oh, start crying to the Lord. Fire, I desire I desire that gift. I desire the gift of faith. Pray, pray. Don't use only to destroy. Because this of faith can even destroy for you the work of the devil. Desire the gift of faith. 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 Desire it. Say, Father, I desire the gift of faith so that I can stand firm. I can talk to the lion. I can talk to the king. Desire the gift of faith. Pray and cry to the Lord. Father, in these 10 days, I need to carry great exploits. You need the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith. Nothing is impossible to the Lord. Nothing is impossible. Just be connected to Him. Build again the relationship with Him. Everything it will be established. Your words can't be established. If there is no gift of faith, your words can't be established. If your word does not base to the word of God, continue to pray. Pray and desire the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith. Say, Father, I need the gift of faith. I need the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith. The gift of faith. It will bring a great exploit. The gift of faith. Desire 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 the gift of faith in Jesus' name. Desire the gift of faith. 
Desire the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith. So that you can stand up like a Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Desire the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith. In the name of Jesus. Desire the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith. In difficult times, you need the faith of Daniel. In these difficult times, you need the faith of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You need that gift. Desire it. Desire it. Desire. Desire the gift of faith. 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 Oh, faith come by hearing. Hallelujah. Desire the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith in your life tonight. Desire the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith. Pray and ask God. Father, I need uh, in this difficult time. Uh, God is preparing for you the power to get to carry great exploits and wonders. That's why you need the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith in the name of Jesus. The faith to carry exploits need the sacrifice and prayer. You need the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith. Hallelujah. Pray and ask God. I need the gift of faith. 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 Hallelujah. The gift of faith is a special gift whereby the Spirit Himself provides to the children of God with extraordinary confidence. Hallelujah. In God's promises is the power. Hallelujah. To present, to carry and explode. Hallelujah. You need that gift of faith. You need the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith tonight. Say, Father, release the gift of faith. You need everything that you are waiting after these 10 days. You need the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith through your relationship with the Lord. The Lord will release the gift of faith. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You need the gift of faith. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. You need the revelation, hallelujah. You need the revelation in the name of Jesus. People of God. People of God. Let me tell you a secret. You know, when you read Daniel 9, eh? Daniel 9, Daniel 9, let's read it, verse, verse 2. Because don't use only when they say destroy then you start to destroy him. There are things that will come only through faith. Because without the faith, you will destroy him nothing. I always told you like the devil can also produce the fire. But if your word is accompanied with the word of God, something will happen. Mama, may you read Daniel 9, verse 1 and 2. In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the lineage of the Medes, 
who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by the books the number of the years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the Thank prophet. Thank you. I said, hi, Daniel. I understood by the book. So it means it was through the reading. This is where Daniel received the revelation. It was through the reading. This is where Daniel could go further and do the great exploit. This is the reason why. When it's about the reading, you receive in the prayer, become very quiet. Why? Because you just say, I destroy, I destroy. No. What are you destroying? If you don't know, like, your, 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 your time is over. What are you destroying? You need to be in the book. Daniel could do that because he was in the revelation. The Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Because of that, that truth that Daniel could carry that at time. This is the reason why. He started praying and said, Father, forgive us. Father, you, if, if you continue, he was in that fasting, praying for the Lord to deliver his people. You can stay for one hour watching TV, but read for five minutes. It's difficult. How you will build your relationship with the Lord? It's very difficult for Daniel to ask the chief for vegetables and water. It's because of through the revelation. Daniel was always in the revelation. He was always in the book. There are some people, they are even happy when their Bible is still new. No, it's a pity. Your Bible must be paged like this because every day you are there. Your makeup is always in your Bible because every day you are reading. It's where you will carry a great exploit. For them to stand boldly, it's because they hear something. Something that is saying, don't bow down to this, to, to, to this. Don't bow down to this statue. How many times we were bowing down to the things that is not even honoring our God. Why? Because we don't have that in us. The Bible say, after that 10 days, knowledge, interpretation, understanding was given to them. People of God, we need to stand firm. This is about you and your God. Build your relationship. Pray. Read the word of God. You will carry outside great exploit. Otherwise, you will say, I, I, I've been eating vegetable and nothing happened. Don't close your Bible after this. No. Go and read and read again. How you will know like this is the reading of, the, of my father. People of God, Daniel was having the revelation. That's why he could say to the chief, just test us for 10 days. If your spirit is strong, even your face will look beautiful. Let me tell you that. But if your spirit is weak, even your face will be weak. That's why this time, your spirit must be strong so that you can see your face will start a shining. Let me tell you, they can curse you because of the food. They can destroy your destiny because of the food. But if you have the revelation, you will say, for today, don't give me that of food. Let me drink water. Because the water is where there is the logos that will give you the rema to go and fight Goliath. The food of the king was delicious. And Mama Ibn was saying it's like a buffet. And on that buffet, vegetables and whatever were there. But why them they say, why they didn't just keep quiet and they say, we'll just go there and, and like lying like we are eating. No. They sit louder. Just test us for 10 days. And after that, the Bible say, they continue to give them vegetables after three years. And they will find that 10 times better than the magician, astrologer, which is a sangoma, which a craft in Yanga. You need to stand firm, hallelujah. Oh, I can feel the heaven is open to release the gift of faith tonight. You need to stand firm. You need to say, I prefer water. 
Let me tell you, I can't say I'm strong. No, my body is claiming meat. But I know where I'm behind. I'm behind uh, the gift uh, that will, bring, will bring me in 2000 and 1000 and 1000 and 1000. 2019, we were okay. But 2020, March, things start to change. Difficult times start to coming. We need to, to, to bring where we can stand. Who can stand today there and go and say, open the churches. Who can stand? We are afraid, all of us. They will kill us. But then they say, we won't throw us in the fire. Throw us. No matter what. People of God, what the world is presenting to you? What are you taking tonight? You need the gift of faith. That you speak to the problem. You say to, the, to Goliath, tonight I will cut your head. It's because I know where I'm standing. I will cut your head tonight. He knew that revelation. That's why he could ask. This is the reason when they say, desire the gift of faith. Desire it. Don't pray like you are wasting your time. People of God, this time it will pay after tomorrow. You are not here for nothing. You are here to carry the great effort outside. Or oh, can you stand there and start praying? You are asking, you are clapping your hand and say, Father, I desire that a gift. I desire. If you see like it's your relationship, because the Bible says, the Bible says, every word that you release in your mouth, it will be established. And Papa Sam was talking yesterday. You can't proclaim the faith when you don't know about the faith. It's difficult. You will give people stories. You need to stand somewhere. When Papa Sefo said that, because he's having a testimony, like the testimony that I give you here, where they say, no one can, can answer you. It's because I have something. This is the reason why I say, Kerry, you will talk tonight to that problem. With your faith, you will say, after these 10 days, this is one, two, three will happen in my family, in my husband, in my kid, in my business. I want you to talk with a faith, with a that of fire. Can you start moving around? You are praying. You are clapping your hands. You are asking, Father, Father, I need a that of faith. I need a that of faith. You need to stand. You need to stand a firm. Continue to pray. 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 Pray. Ask the gift of faith that will bring everything that you need. Hallelujah. Ask the Father, release that anointing upon me. Because it's the Lord Himself that will give it to you. Stand up firm. You won't be corrupted. You won't be corrupted. You will resist him. Continue to ask the Lord. Father, I need that strong of faith in me. You need the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith. The Bible says, faith come by hearing. Hearing the word of God. Tonight you need, you need to be loaded with the gift of faith that will bring you to the word of God. You need to be loaded tonight. Say to the Father, I need the gift of faith. I need the gift of faith. I need the gift of faith. Pray. Ask the Lord. The gift of faith. Ask the Lord. The gift of faith. So that you'll be unshakable. So that you'll run the race. You will be unshakable for you to run. You need that of faith. You need that strong of faith in you. Ask the Lord to release it tonight. Ask the Lord to release it. Ask the Lord to release that strong of faith. You need the gift 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 of faith. 
your intimacy with the Lord, it will bring great exploit in the name of Jesus. You need the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith. At these difficult times, you need the gift of faith. 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 Hallelujah. You need the gift of faith. Father, release the gift of faith upon us tonight. Father, release that the special gift of faith. Oh, whereby the Spirit Himself is providing for us. Father, provide, provide the Spirit of gift. Of, of the gift of faith Father provide the gift of faith Father provide in the name of Jesus provide 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 hallelujah is the gift that is bringing to existence the things that does not exist oh hallelujah Father provide it for us Provider, provider, provide for us. Provide the Lord Jesus. Provide, provide, provide that the gift that will make us unshakable, that the gift that will make us to stand firm, the gift that will make us to talk with confidence. Father, we need that the gift. We need the gift of faith. We need the gift of faith that will carry exploit. That will display the strong and unshakable confidence. Father, we need that the gift. We need Father provide. Father provide. Provide. Father provide. Desire. Desire that the gift of faith. Desire. Desire. In this difficult time. Desire for the devil to not seduce you. You need that the gift of faith. You need the gift of faith. You need. Let the Lord provide tonight. Let the Lord provide for us tonight. Let the Lord provide to us tonight. Dans le nom de Jésus, Father provide, Father provide, Father provide, Father provide, in the name of Jesus, 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 oh Lord provide, provide, provide for us, provide, provide for us Lord Jesus. Provide in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, provide for us. Oh, Father, this is the faith that is breaking limitation. You need that the gift. You need that the faith that is breaking limitation. In the name of Jesus, you need it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you need it. You need it. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus died for you. You need that gift of faith. You need it. You need it. You need it. In the name of Jesus, you need the gift of faith. 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 You need the revelation, hallelujah. For these 10 days, hallelujah. After these 10 days, let the Lord release the understanding, the knowledge, the gift of faith that will help you to carry explosive in Jesus name you need to desire
desire the gift of faith. Desire the gift of faith. Desire it. Desire it. Desire it. Desire in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Desire. Desire it. In Jesus' name. People of God, I know we need the gift of faith. But somehow, there is something that is bothering you. There is something that every time when you rem remember, your body becomes weak. That's why I want you to stand again. I want you to talk to that problem. With the gift of faith, remember the gift of faith is the Lord himself who is giving to you for free. So I want you to believe that in me there is the gift of faith. What do you want the Lord to do after these 10 days? Look, don't what do I say? Don't try God. Like no, the Lord is only Maguinia. No. No, don't limit your God. Because they say this of faith can break the limitation. That a difficult problems, that a difficult a sickness, that a difficult a matter, that a difficult husband, that a difficult a womb that is refusing to obey. This is the time for you to release the word. Speak to that problem. I want you to start talking to that a difficult problems that is bothering you every day. People of God, I want some people. To come here and start giving the testimony. Like that day, I talk to this problem and I see the result. I want those people. Oh, hallelujah. Mama Tia Miso, you will be the first one. You will talk to that problem. That mountain will move. What do you need? Exercise that gift. Do you know like you are a Daniel Mama Tia Miso? You, the Lord is talking you through dreams and don't doubt it. The Lord, through that you are listening to the Lord, it will bring great outside. Don't think like the Lord is not listening to you, no. That problem is there for you to go deeper and deeper with the Lord. This is what the Lord wants. Because he can't just bring his son to be tempted, to be humiliated by someone who the Lord himself created. No. That's a problem that you are facing is coming to promote you. That the problem that you are facing is coming to give you a new dimension. Hallelujah. Oh, Mama Kazumba, if a people are using muti for their crest to be full, but you, you will use the gift of faith because the Lord will do it. He will do it and do it. The Lord will answer the desire of your heart because you want to do it more and more. You want to do it everywhere. The Lord will do it in this big time where people are crying Corona but where you, you will say I see the hand of the Lord. I see the Lord. He has done it. He will do it. Sorcerer or musician they want to stop what the Lord has promised you or oh, just be attached to the word of covenant. This is what they say to the people that they didn't break their covenant. They will do great exploit. They will be strong because of the covenant. I want you to say tonight, uh, I'm talking to the Goliath. I'm talking to the King Nebuchadnezzar. I want to bow down to you because my promotion is coming. Because my marriage is coming. Because, hallelujah, the gift of faith. Is, is in package. The gift of faith is the whole package. In the gift of faith, there is a peace. In the gift of faith, there is everything that you need. Oh, you don't need. You don't need to cry. You don't need to cry tonight. Start a talking. Start a talking. Start a talking. Those who are fighting for your position, they will fail. Those who are fighting, for your positions, they will fall down. Hallelujah. Those who are fighting you, 
they will fall down because your king has decided to release the gift of faith. Your family will know God through you. Your family, they will know God through you. Hallelujah. Yes. We need just to be with him, the king of glory. Talk to that problem. Speak a word. It will stand. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us tonight. I want you to continue to pray. The Lord is with us tonight. Talk to that mountain. Tell him, you mountain, you great mountain, who are you? Said the before Zorobabel. Talk to that mountain, who are you? Before Zorobabel. Talk to that obstacle. Talk to the fire. 